<laughs> Let's start with Shane being completely jerked off. Put the time up there for me. Oh, I'm going to tell you to do so many things and just piss you off even more. But actually not piss you off. Lighten the mood for you so you forget about all that bullshit. It's okay. We're going to make it right. Just like my ex-wife did in the relationship. She made it right. <laughs> Way to make way to really comfort him. <laughs> oh my god! Character building, Shane. It's a thing. Yeah, <laughs> you love it. <laughs> I'll take that out. All right. Well, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the HWMF podcast. I'm your host Seth Frusi here with my heterosexual life mate Bob. Good morning. And our esteemed, huge penis, handsome, short gentleman Shane. Hi. <laughs> I'd like to start this podcast off by letting everybody know that we have like kind of a sponsor for the podcast. Mm -hmm. They uh, were big supporters of them. We talk about them all the time, but they said that they would, uh, they gave us a, they gave us lots of product and they tell us all about their products and we know all about their products. But Wolf's Fish up yeah. in Boston, Massachusetts, <laughs> uh, they've treated us right so many times and they love the feedback from all of you guys. We have a discount code to give out to everybody, a 20% off discount for their fish, which I'm going to use my own discount code. Ferozi 20 will get you 20% off your next order of Wolf's Fish. Wow. That's what I said. Hell of a discount. Holy shit. That's what the fuck I said. And they're like, they appreciate everything. And they were like, you know, we'll, we'll see how everything goes. And they're excited. But 20% off Wolf's Fish. I have to say, like... Now that the restaurants are all fucked up and all the bullshit going on and I can't, like, go to... Uh, you we went to, out to eat and it was just fucking absolutely horrendous, weird. by the way. It's it was really weird. It was fucked up. Yep. Um, the fact that Bardeen's, fucking local, local meat market over there, they slaughter all their own shit. We can go get a big T-bone and then I can have fresh scallops hmm. from Wolf's. From Wolf's. I can do a surf and turf. Yeah. They do lobsters, they do scallops, they do shrimps, they do shrimp burgers, mm -hmm. which were fucking phenomenal. Yep. Uh, fresh halibut. The halibut is probably my favorite. I just had it again last night. Did you? Yeah. Swordfish steaks, mm -hmm. striped bass. The I loved the striped bass. Out of control good. Yeah. They just got sea bass in. <laughs> Did sea bass said that? <laughs> that guy over there is sea bass. <laughs> oh. Ah, yeah, oh. Here he is. Oh, well, if Seabass said that. <laughs> Actually, put these on, too. And and <laughs> <laughs> fucking movie's awesome. Um, I watched, uh, I know Bob saw it. I watched Mortal Kombat the other day. I, saw I thought you'd be proud. That, yeah. I saw you uh, yeah. post it on your yeah. IG. I'm like, Luke fucking Kang. right. Yeah. He never saw it. He no, never saw it. I've never it. seen it. I know. Man, you're but I did watch it. You're such a martial arts guy, and you haven't seen these classic but i did movies. watch it what'd you think of it it was good it's good it's it was good, good movie yeah. right for, yeah. for 1995 yeah. it's not awesome. bad way better than gotta Rocky. see the second one what <laughs> all right so what's this <laughs> tremendous they got all kinds of great stuff on there i'm excited because i'm like like just make seared scallops they're delicious yeah you can grill them mm-hmm you can wrap them in bacon, which I'm not a big fan of, but people do that. Yeah, I'm not into that. I don't like wrapping things in bacon. That's weird. It does not get the way you want it. I just like plate of bacon or bacon on a breakfast sandwich. I pretty yeah. much like just on a sandwich. Yeah, I, I like. Uh, I don't do bacon like on on other things like BLTs. I do like BLTs because mm. the bacon is the meat of the of the sandwich. Yeah, but um, I feel like that sandwich is unfinished. It has like unfinished business. I, so. I put egg on my BLT. That then it's not unfinished. Nope. But then does it become an egg sandwich? Yes. Fuck off, Shane. We're not asking you. BLTE. <laughs> BLTE. <laughs> I'm, white. I'm white. E. W H I T. E. <laughs> I watched that movie the other night too. Fuck it. it was, I turned it on at that point. Whenever she's like, "You are a sad little man." <laughs> I'm white. W H I T. She's like looking at me. He's like. <laughs> I like to break a mental sweat too. <laughs> but no, you got to. Um, they, uh, I think on their website, they say they, they deliver to 17 states all along the East Coast. So if you're on the East Coast and looking for some fresh seafood, it's delicious. It is fire. It's, I mean, it, it beats every seafood that I purchase around here, mm -hmm. hands down. Mm -hmm. Not even close. 
The swordfish steaks are fucking stupid good. The halibut, though. Like, that halibut, I don't know. It, you, it's tough to beat. It, like, flakes off and... Hannah did this. She does this, like, lemon butter dill, mm. like marinade. Yeah. I don't know where the fuck she found it, by the way. Yeah. Hannah used to not be that great of a cook. Like, kind of like, not good at all type of good cook. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden now, like, she whips out, like, fucking these crazy veggie bowls with homemade balsamics. And, like, she made homemade salsa. I had a homemade black bean salsa... That's my favorite salsa, hands down. And I'm a salsa guy. Bro, salsa's hard, hard to make. Then she does a lemon butter dill fucking marinade on halibut. And I said, like whenever she did it, when I first hurt my tricep, because Brisk said, you're fat and your blood work looks Eat like fish. shit. Eat fish. She made this thing and I'm like, hey, where'd you learn this? <laughs> like, I think somebody else brought this over. <laughs> yeah. Who, yeah. <laughs> Who made this? And she's like, no, I did. And I'm like, please explain. Like... How are you all of a sudden? It was, uh, I think the COVID did good job of, of, uh, of she just, you know, she needs something to do and she found fucking. A little recipe research. And yeah. Martha Hell of Stewart. a cook. Yeah. What it, like lemon ball, or no, no. Some type of balsamic thing for the uh, swordfish steaks. Mm. Crazy. Like, I would never have marinated fish, but she marinated fish because she saw it in some fucking love, wild cook I thing. I love good food. I just love good That's food. what's awesome about this and why I'm so excited because they're like, we, 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 we th- they appreciate everything. Yeah. We get some fish sent to us here and there. For OC20, 20, 20% off your next Wolf's Fish order. Nice. That's awesome. Seared scallops and a T-bone. How the fuck can't you? Your mouth's getting, a, your, your mouth's getting laid. That's how I, how, feel, how I feel about it all. I love timing like the the... The scallops, like we'll have it before we sit down to dinner. Yeah. Like we'll eat them, like, like while we're prepping everything else yeah. at the island in the kitchen. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. I do too. Uh, I have uh, heathens at my house. Adeline and Emmy are heathens. Yeah, they're like little Vikings. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how I view them now. I no longer view them as children because they're fucking animals. Mm-hmm. They're like savages. They're they're like they're savages, sca- uh, scavengers. Um, they'll eat anything, they'll drink anything, and then they'll, like, possibly, like, attack you. That's how I feel about them. Yeah. I don't know. Adeline is definitely, like, I don't know, bo- both of them are. Mm-hmm. They're so strong, too. Very strong. They're both jacked. They're both strong. They both eat, like, massive quantities. Mm-hmm. I watched Adeline house a large blizzard within, like, ten minutes. Maybe less. A large blizzard. A large blizzard oh got God. taken down in moments. Yeah. I'm like, God, what's going on? They'll, they'll eat a whole watermelon in 24 hours, mm-hmm. cut it up at like noon on a Saturday. It's gone by 10 a.m. on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. Sounds about right. Um, like, it's it's wild. Adeline will eat like two pounds of potatoes herself. We get these like steamable packs of potatoes, two pounds. Mm-hmm. I watched her eat half of a bag with like probably six ounces of steak and then go back to the other half because we cook two bags, Mm -hmm. go back to the other half of the bag. And I'm like, child, you're out of hand. And she don't get fat. Like I watch her over at gymnastics, bro, just fucking shredded. Yeah. Yeah. She's crazy shape right now. They're like little mini Vikings. I could see them like taking an ax to somebody's head and being like, oh, let's eat them. Like, it's, like, funny. <laughs> yeah, let's eat them. Like, it's food. <laughs> fucking yeah, don't waste actually, it. Actually, Adeline's such a fucking... She's she's so sensitive to animals. Yeah. She She's, like, she doesn't want to hurt anything. Yeah. But she knows that's the way of the world. Yeah. way of the country living is killing the deer. People, I mean, what's his name up the road? Lou's going to raise some rabbits. Oh, yeah. He's got his chickens. They do chickens now and going to do some rabbits. Mm-hmm. Lou eats everything. Lou will eat rabbit stew. Mm-hmm. Lou will do all that. And it's like, yeah, you, you raise them. That's part of farming. That's part of life. Yep. I'm like, no shit, huh? Yep. I mean, if we went to apocalyptic times where it seems like we might be heading. Might be heading down there. This fucking world is going to hell in a handbasket. I tell you what. Mm-hmm. Fucking, it's a scary place. Apocalyptic times happen. It's going to be ugly. I think a purge would do pretty good for all of us. I think I'd do too bad. I mean, I'm for it. I'll, I'll partake. It'd be, it'd be different. <laughs> it'd be a little scary for a minute. Yeah. Maybe the first the first one would definitely be pretty wild. Yeah. Wouldn't know what to do. But, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think, right, like, 
Like Rob Bailey just posted that video mm-hmm. about him, about how he said fucking just people were acting weird like they live in Montana. Country is fuck. It's beautiful. Like Western PA. My house, your house. Mm-hmm. You have 55 fucking acres. Yep. I'm surrounded by 100 acres. The new house that we just purchased, surrounded by over 200 fucking acres. Mm-hmm. I don't think the coronavirus is out in that field. No. Mm-mm. I don't think it's out there. I don't think so. Mm-mm. So if you're walking by one way and I'm walking by another way, hey, Bob. Or Seth? Somebody that I don't even know is out there. I'm like, what's up, Chief? Yeah. Sea bass. How's it going? <laughs> like, he's, and that's where he's even in, even further in the middle of nowhere. Bro, he's in, he's in fucking, yeah, middle of fucking mountain much. ranges. Yes. Yeah, like, like <laughs> glaciers and shit. Yeah. Pieces of America. Yeah. Country living. Mm-hmm. And he said, people are out there, more tourists and more people that are just coming in to think that they would like to get some of that. And then when they see people, they're freaking out, Mm -hmm. like freaking out. Running big trails with face masks and where there's no one at, like like no no one. one. No one's there. Not one. Like maybe one in a six hour period, you'll see. It's crazy. Oh, my God. (laughs) I'm lost. I'm lost too, brother. I, I, you know, people think uh, that, oh, like if you don't, they're like, oh, it's a real virus. No, I'm accepting and I know that it's a real virus. I'm just willing to take the risk. Mm-hmm. It's like it's like your kid, the big thing, it's like your kid playing football. Like your son playing football. Running a risk. Yep. Could break something. Could, could fucking break his neck. Mm-hmm. There's people that fucking go, th- they end up breaking their neck. There's people that have CTE. There's people that have all these problems. My daughters do gymnastics, bro. You just heard Hannah yesterday. The the, the fucking skills these girls are throwing gives her anxiety. She's like these girls because brought Brian in. Yeah. Fucking bar specialist. Yeah. Vault specialist. Like he's a fucking bad dude. Yeah. He's taking these girls to another level. Hannah's never been able to do some of these things because never had a coach like that. Right. Nor a, a male coach that's strong enough to spot these girls on these things. Yeah. Bro. One false move, whenever you're throwing a double back, whenever you are dismounting a double back from the high bar, that's a problem. Yeah. Big things can happen. Mm-hmm. Adeline just, she was doing, she's a beam queen. Bitch is a bad motherfucker on the beam. Mm-hmm. Yesterday she missed. She, they said she ate the beam. Her face, she face planted on the fucking beam. Mark, haul the wayside <laughs> on her face. Adeline does, Adeline does, what does she do? Back handspring, she does back handspring, back handspring, back layout on a beam. Like, fucking nails it. She was doing it and missed yesterday. Smashed her face on the beam. Like, bro, you're running a risk. In a sport, you're running a risk. In life, you run risks. I, I, I may sound disheartening or whatever to some people with this, but that doesn't mean that I don't respect other people. It just means that I'm willing to take the risks. It's kind of how life is. I'm not one to sit around and wait for things to happen or wait for people to do things for me. No, no way. We can't do that. Mm-mm. And with everything being as botched as it is, because nobody can tell me with a straight face that this has gone, like this is run like a, like a well-run business. Mm-hmm. This is run like a fucking twelve, like a twelve-year-old. Not even like a kindergarten's running it. That's what this is. Yeah, it's all a shit show. No one knows what they're doing. No There's one knows. Different answers to everything. Different opinions on everything. It's like it's like nobody's. Uh, it's like no, nobody wants to take any ownership of anything because everybody knows it's a bag of dicks. Everybody knows it's a fucking botched, fucking forged bullshit. Uh, system or however you want to categorize this Mm -hmm. like woof he doesn't he's like everybody's kind of stepping away now because like real numbers are coming out things are coming out that uh i don't know i don't want to get i'm going way too far into it again that's all right it's hard not to i know know. it's hard not to all i think is is i'm (laughs) i just want everything to feel good again i just want that i don't know when it's gonna happen they just canceled college football Bro, the ultimate feeling of my year is like a chilly fall night with a hoodie and jeans on and like football on TV and like fresh beers and grilling steaks out back. And mm-hmm. Crazy. 
So we're creating our own at home and at work. Yep. I mean, we're fortunate enough that uh, everything's going well. And I think that most people at home and what they're doing and creating a great environment at home, mm-hmm. like Wolf's Fish, like we were talking, like the steaks we were talking, people, some people go to the gym, some people have their home gyms. People are staying in fucking shape. Yeah. They people are. are still pushing themselves. In the beginning, it fucked with everybody. But now some gyms are open. Some people can still go to the gym. Some people are fucking. Some people don't want to deal with the, the they create regulations. their own home gyms, or yeah. some people are like fuck it, we're gonna make our own shit. Mm-hmm. Like people are like fuck it, if this is what the fuck you guys are gonna do, we're gonna do it our own way. Mm-hmm. And that's kind of how I like to operate. Yep. So sear some scallops, cook a T-bone. I'm all for it. Fuck it. I'm in. I'm in. Yep. Crazy shit. But I'm enjoying my life. Mm-hmm. Can't complain. Lots of work. Lots of good stuff. Um, uh, right now, we'll get into this real quick. We have a... Uh, so, here with everything that we do, we preach being a hardworking motherfucker. We preach the fact that we don't have problems, just more work to do. Whenever we first coined that saying, and we talked about it, like, at a point in my life, four years ago, I went through things that I wish upon no one. I don't wish it upon anybody. It was a fucking problem. It was a problem. In my life, my, my, my ex was in a very bad way, addicted to drugs, uh, two little girls, wonderful opportunity in life. However, it had to end. So I had to get rid of all that bullshit in my life, and I had to take full responsibility for my children, and I had to run this business with you had to take care of two little girls and also make sure I didn't lose my shit. So it was a point in my life where I was like, man, this is like one of the hardest things I've ever had to deal with because there was a lot on the line. And not only from a business standpoint, but as a future and opportunistic standpoint, and then also from two little girls, two wonderful little kids. And I'm thinking to myself, holy fuck, dude. And my kids weren't doing too good at the time. They were doing some fucking weird shit. So... I was like, I don't want nobody to go through this because this is a problem. This is tough. And then I started thinking to myself, hold on, Seth. Your kids are, ha- your kids are ha- healthy. You need to do a good job and be a good dad. You need to make sure you put them, in an oppor- put them in a place of opportunity and a place to be happy. Create a nice home environment. Just because there's something going on doesn't mean that you can't step up and become better. I'm like, fuck yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'd had those conversations with myself. Might have been rough. Some very, very rough times with the kids and getting them to a, a, a good standpoint to be, quote, unquote, ha- happy. Mm-hmm. But I said they're healthy. They don't got problems. They're not dying. I'm not dying. I'm a fucking, I'm a healthy, able-bodied man. And I'm going to get the fuck up every day and go to work. That mentality of the hardworking motherfucker is where all that stuff came from. The stuff that we talk about all the time. Mm-hmm. Now my kids are happy. They're healthy. I'm an able-bodied man. I don't have any problems. So we talk about this because I couldn't imagine my child having a debilitating disease. I couldn't imagine losing my child. I couldn't imagine, I couldn't imagine what it would feel like. So then I stop and think about it. I think about my girls and my son that I love so much that haven't even experienced life. They're just getting tastes of it so much. They're still innocent. Like we just said, Adeline falling on the beam. These kids eating, these kids having opportunity to do great things with gymnastics and learn, play outside, swim in a pool, go hunting, get older, date a boy, get their heart broken, go to the prom, graduate high school, go to college, meet their forever person. Those are all things that are absolutely incredible in life. And I think that a lot of people take it for granted because those bad things that occur in your life that you quote unquote call bad, or you're getting your heart broken, that's part of life. Those things happen, and it's okay. It's part of character building. We just have a member of the Axe and Sledge family, someone's niece. Uh, that person, uh, that little girl, came down with a, turns out she had a massive brain tumor. Her name's Zoe. She is a three-year-old little girl who loves the zoo and loves being a three-year-old. From, I believe it was early August, early this month, she was just at the zoo. 
she went to the beach with her family and at the beach she wasn't feeling too good all of a sudden she started having like problems like speaking holding a conversation and the parents recognized it and they were like fuck something's up they took her to the doctor and she has a massive brain tumor the type of brain tumor that she has is uh, uh, such a rarity I'm not a doctor so I'm don't I don't know doctor terms, but it's a rare tumor in which I think like 250 kids get it or 250 people get it worldwide every year. Absolutely scary, terrifying, rare disease, which that's what I talk about. They go in, they took the tumor out, they took the, the doctor came in, neurosurgeon came in, took out the majority of the tumor. However, now she has... There's two pieces. There's a piece left on her cerebellum, and then there's a piece on her brainstem. They could not get. They can't operate on those two things because if they take out the cerebellum, she's never going to be the same person ever again. She will become a vegetable. The other one is uh, on her brainstem, and if you go in and operate on the brainstem, uh, pretty much possible death. So the doctors gave the parents the, op the option for those things. And the other option is uh, this, some type of proton therapy, I believe is what it is. And it is fucking stupid expensive. Mm -hmm. It's an experimental therapy. So it's un any, un ex any experimental therapy isn't covered by insurance, right. from my understanding. Mm -hmm. uh, so the parents, all within seven fucking days, go from thinking their kids okay or something might be wrong to finding out that they have a massive brain tumor to having it operated on and then to find out that it's such a rare fucking it's a rare such a rare tumor that they're going to have to go to in a completely different city stop everything in their life to go save their fucking three-year-old's life if that isn't some of the most fucking wild shit heart-wrenching gut-wrenching shit i don't know what is that right there is the is is what makes me feel to myself you, I don't get to complain. Mm -hmm. I couldn't imagine Emmy having this. I couldn't imagine Emmy having to get her head fucking cut open and a tumor removed and then go up there, have mm -hmm. to go to Boston or Philadelphia for a long time. So what we, since this is close to home with us, it's a member of our team, what we have said is, is fuck it, we're going big. We're gonna, we're, this is what we stand for. We are going to do a shirt that is available at this time that you're listening or watching this podcast. It's the Zoe shirt. It's on axeandsledge.com. Uh, we are selling this shirt for $25. All the profits, every fucking penny from this shirt goes to the family. All the money that we make from this shirt goes to the family. We set up a foundation so that they don't have to fucking deal with all the bullshit from it. Um, and every single penny that is made from this goes to them because this therapy is going to be six figure therapy. They had to, they have stopped their lives. Uh, there's no more working really. Mm -hmm. They've taken leaves of absence from work and they have to pay for all the housing, all the food, all the everything, travel. all the travel. Mm -hmm. And, um, we, I'm, I hate to say it. I'm, I'm asking everybody here to go purchase this shirt. Uh, people are like, they want to donate more. There will be a GoFundMe. There is a GoFundMe, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have it. Shane will have it all set up. Please purchase the shirt. Our goal with this is to for people to be able to wear this shirt, take pictures, and send it in. Send us the pictures. Tag us in the pictures because we have a team. Our team is set up so that the parents, Zoe, everybody gets to see the support in the shirts for her. Mm -hmm. That's the goal with the shirt, everybody. It's not because I want you to have another fucking shirt. It's because I want you to wear it with pride. Whenever you wear the shirts that we produce, you wear it with pride. This is another shirt that I want you to wear with pride. Take a photo of it, tag me, tag Axe and Sledge, and then Shane, the team, they go through everything. We're gonna put it all together for the family, for Zoe to see, because right now, dude, they're in the fight of their life. Yeah. It's not like your shitty fucking Monday where you gotta go to your job where you make money. It's like you might not live anymore. If you told me my six-year-old wasn't going to grow up and wasn't going to get to have a, a prom, wasn't going to get to have the feeling of driving a vehicle, wasn't going to get the feeling of, of, of sand between her toes at the beach again, the smell of fresh air, out in the field, walking trails, getting married, finding someone that actually loves them for them, like those feelings might not occur. 
in this little girl's life. All the things that mean so much to us that we take for granted because it's your shitty life. Bro, fuck you. This, this situation is what we preach and why you need to appreciate life every single fucking day. Why everybody asks, Seth, why are you so positive in the mornings? You're always so energetic and you always love it. Motherfucker, because I'm fucking blessed to be here. I got to wake up. All you have to do is think about a young girl like this. This is gut-wrenching. Mm -hmm. So, that's some heavy shit, everybody. Yes, sir. The shirt is on axonsledge.com. It's going to be very easy to find. Mm -hmm. It'll be right there for everybody to go purchase. Please support it. This isn't a time for us to make money. This isn't a time for us to... Uh, to uh, we are not monetarily gaining from this whatsoever. Nope. Our goal is to put a family that is fucking flip turned upside down in a better situation. Do whatever we can to support them and make sure that they don't have to think too much about anything but taking care of their family. Yep. Because in situations like that, in this, that's what's most important. Yep. Wow. It's tough, man. It is. It's, it's, uh, the support we've had, I will say this, most of the people listening are, are already have already hit us up a million times because we post about it on Facebook and Instagram and it's got shared tens of thousands of times already. With tens of thousands of views have already seen this. Probably close to over 100,000 people, 100,000 views via in, uh, Instagram and Facebook in less than 18 hours. Mm -hmm. It was wild. So uh, thank you to everybody supporting. The dad, his, uh, Jim, her dad, has already reached out and, uh, and overwhelming, like, Holy fuck, guys. Yeah, lost for words. Yeah, just mm -hmm. couldn't thank, thank us enough for everything, and that's all to you guys. Thank you for everything yeah. you guys do. Thank you for supporting the businesses. This isn't a time, like I said, for us to make money. This is a time for us to show our fucking our fortitude and what we do and who you all are with us. Yeah. A bunch of hardworking motherfuckers that love your families, love your jobs, appreciate what you have, and keep being bad motherfuckers. It's intense. I want to also... Uh thank uh my cookie dealer uh juan and his wife they uh they donated four thousand dollars to uh to the zoe's uh fundraiser no shit yeah yeah so yeah, i oh, i know man. you guys know my cookie dealer they make the giant cookies uh, and yeah dean gets all of them you know it but uh juan and karen thank you so wow. much for for donating to to the fundraiser it's unbelievable that's a big deal yeah it's a huge deal that's it's fucking a huge big. deal wow yeah Wow. Yep. Holy shit. Yeah. There's a lot of people that reached out and donated, a, donated, like, just single people doing the same thing. Big money, too. It's That's, it's incredible. No, I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Yeah. This is, it's, uh, that's, I mean, <laughs> we have rough days here. Mm -hmm. There's rough days here. There's rough days at home. There's rough days with your kids, your significant other. There are days whenever you're fucking on cloud nine and fucking all the way at the bottom. But at the end of the day, my dad always told me whenever uh, I found out that Adeline was going to be coming into this world, my dad, like everybody's fucking shocked. And my dad just looked at me and he said, Seth, he's like, nobody's dying. Anybody dying? I was like, no, there's like a new life coming. And he's like, yes, be grateful, be thankful. It's time for you to become a man. I was like, holy fuck. Like in my head, that's what I thought. And I was mm -hmm. like, all right. So ever since that day, that was like the beginning of this because it was letting me know, like, if somebody's dying, that's a real problem. Somebody's losing their life, that's a problem. If somebody's life is being taken too early, that's a problem. That's because they don't get to fully experience what life has to offer and how beautiful it actually is. Life is beautiful. It's just rough. It's tough. It's not fucking easy. But nothing that's easy is worth living for. Mm -hmm. I want greatness. I want to do extravagant, wonderful things because I don't think I'm coming back. And whenever you see a fucking three-year-old, like why a three-year-old? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's that question, why? But then you can't even ask that question, why? It's just what it is. And it's terrible and gut-wrenching, and I don't think I'd be the same fucking person if this occurred in my life. No. 
the time. So the fact that it's not occurring in my life, I don't got a fucking thing to complain about. I just got to go to work. I got to be a fucking good person. I got to work super hard. And on the days whenever I have to work 12, 16, 18 hours that day, I don't get to say boo fucking who. I get to say, God damn, I'm actually able to do this shit. I'm supposed to do this shit. This is what I do. Because other people don't have the ability to do what I'm doing. How can't I appreciate that? How can't I be grateful for that? Wow. Man, they gave four grand. Yep. Good job, guys. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Make good cookies. Doing a good job with people. There's a lot of good out there. there, there it, you know what? You're right, dude. There is a lot of good out there. Yep. A lot of people have reached out. There's people that are donating there's two people that are donating hundreds of dollars, and, I'm, and we're like, we just wanted you the T-shirt. Just buy the T-shirt. Buy the T-shirt. Wear the T-shirt. Take a picture of yourself in the T-shirt. Send it to us. Tag us. We got a team of people waiting to fucking yeah. go in because we told even our printer, our printer fucking right behind us. They're like, yep, we got it. Yeah. Like work, we'll, we'll we'll work through the overtime. We'll work in the free time or the downtime, which they don't have downtime, mm -hmm. to make sure that this shirt gets done because it's all happening so quickly. Fucking putting the foundation together as quick as possible, getting the people involved. There is a ton of fucking good in the world. Yeah. Situations like this show how good you motherfuckers actually are. Yeah. Really good people. Thank you for being like, thank you for it all. And it's, and it's it, whenever, like now that there's there there is something in need, like the how, the quickness, mm -hmm. the sharpness of everybody with this is phenomenal. Yeah. Let's me know that these people are actually good people in their everyday life too. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like just being polite, being respectful, all those things. <sighs> Couldn't imagine it. No. A couple of people reached out as well that said they've had similar things with their kids have had big operations. Yeah. And they said it's fucking, a couple of dads have said, like, uh, get, uh, get ready, whatever we can do to support, it's going to be intense. Yeah. I could imagine it be intense. Nuts. <sighs> Cool shirt. Mike did a good job with the design of the shirt. Yeah, I love the shirt. It's all her, all Zoe's favorite things: princesses and animals, and more princesses. And <laughs> the fucking the, the the tough thing is, is I showed we were at dinner and I showed the girls and uh, and Emmy's like, I like all those things too, and I'm like, holy fuck, yeah, oh, just made me fucking sick. It's I was like, god heavy, damn man. it. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's it's the the innocence of a child and how wonderful it is, and mm -hmm. then like. You know, that's, again, why, another reason why we have the gymnastics thing over there. Yeah. For people, like, there's so many young, every kid, every parent out there that has a timid kid, mm -hmm. it's all fucking, they're like, my kid's a little funky. My kid doesn't, you know. She's a little quiet. A little quiet. Little socially then, awkward, maybe. Yeah, she doesn't let go of my leg. Mm -hmm. It's like, no, it's cool. We got the mommy and me, bring them in, you come too. Oh, really? There's a, you're not the only one. <laughs> Lots of kids are like this. That's why we have this. Yeah. That's why it looks pretty and bright and new and clean and all that shit. And then all of a sudden they're like, my kid actually wants to come. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the goal, motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> that was the goal with it all. Mm -hmm. So the fact that, like, there's, it, it, it takes, it, tell you what, you know what, uh, I'll say this, like, everybody and all this good that people are doing, that takes work. Yeah. It takes work to be a good person. Mm -hmm. It's easy to just fucking blow things off and fuck everything. It takes work to be a good person. Mm -hmm. It takes a lot of work. And and that just shows how much work these people are willing to do. How yeah. awesome it is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Man. guys. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Can't thank you enough. There's You can't even say much more than that. No. Nope. Out of all the fucking bullshit in the world, people are still just fucking... People want to be good, I think. I think they do. I think they genuinely do. I, I honestly believe that I think, I don't know, I, the people that I fuck with, because yeah. we see it all the time within, we created this environment for people to thrive, to feel good. Mm -hmm. And it, it's tough when, when times get tough like they are with COVID. I mean, it, it makes it even harder to be that good person and do better, you know? Yeah. So it, it's, a, it's a lot easier to sit back and bitch and complain, you know, than it is to keep moving on, so... And I think everybody's past the breaking point of all of, all of it, mm -hmm. th of saying, like, they just want the good now. Yeah. Because even the people, like, uh, like people on Facebook that go back and forth and bitch and blah, 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 they're even like, fuck, dude. Why can't we just, like, 
why can't everybody just get along now? Yeah, it's there, and it's and, it, and it's intense. I think there's things going on in the world that are way bigger than, way bigger than any of us, mm-hmm. and it's uh, it's our job to fucking just stand for the good, mm-hmm. stand for the good. <clears throat> fucking kids. Why people gotta fuck with kids? Yeah, it's like the whole fucking pedophilia rings, mm-hmm. all that crazy shit. Why you gotta fuck with kids? Just leave the kids alone. Leave them the fuck alone. Don't fuck with the kids. Mm-hmm. That's, I don't even know how, like, <laughs> I don't even know how the news isn't covering, like, the biggest fucking pedophilia rings of all time. Mm-hmm. How's it not, like, top front fucking news? Because they're involved. It's scary. It is. It's terrifying. Just do good out there, guys. All you gotta do, do a good job. Don't fuck with the kids. Don't fuck with little kids. They're so beautiful. They're so innocent. They're going to grow up to be incredible things. Don't fuck with them. I mean, if I saw somebody fuck with a little kid, like that's part of the, my job over there. My job over there is not to let nobody fuck with it. It's like, Seth, what are you good at? Good at being an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> really fucking good at it. <laughs> Really? Yes. I'm I see. I'm better at being a fucking asshole than I think anything else. <laughs> That's my job over there. Don't let nobody fuck with the kids. Oh, hello. You're trying to intimidate my team or the girls or or, or be an overbearing cock sucking male coach at a gymnastics meet because the other girls are Hannah's tiny and all these little kids, you like to impose your will. Hello, I'm Seth. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm an asshole. <laughs> That's my job. Parents come in, they don't like what's going on, or anybody tries to in- intimidate the fucking coaches or say anything to the girls or what they think. Hello, I'm Seth. Nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm here because you're not polite. Hello. Let's change that tune. <laughs> I'll be very polite for about two seconds. Yep. <laughs> but no, that's uh, and and I think that it's like when it comes to when it comes to children or anything that's involved, they need they they. You need to protect the children, but also push them to become great. That's part of sports, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, part of it. Big part of it. Huge part of it. Mm-hmm. Did you watch that video on the the PIAA? Oh yeah, talking about the sports and stuff, uh-huh. fall sports. And Bro, this whole thing is wild. It's terrifying. Mm-hmm. It's fucking terrifying. Mm-hmm. Bro, <laughs> suicide rates are through the roof. Overdoses are through the roof. Like and now, like think about it. Okay. College sports are not going to happen, okay? College, or college football is definitely, that's been the big thing. I think the Big Ten just canceled. Any other ones, Shane, do you know of? Um, Pac-12 canceled, I think. Pac-12 canceled as well. Mm-hmm. Now, within, within a college football team, okay, urban inner city kids, okay, their dream is to go to the NFL. They work their asses off on the football field on the basketball court, on any, any, any sport. They work their asses off to get out of the environment in which they're in. Yeah, yeah. They make it to college. They're out of high school. They go to college. On a college campus, they are king. Michigan, Alabama, Auburn, FSU, Miami, fucking Oklahoma. Massive fucking schools. Penn State. Michigan State, okay? Then, if there's no college football, if there's no college to go to, these kids have to go back to the inner cities. The place that they were working to escape, they gotta go back. All the kids on the football team aren't going back to the suburbs. They're not going back to the place that is hunky-dory and nice. Mm -hmm. That's 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 a rough thing to think about and feel. Yeah, it's it's it. it uh, uh, I saw something about it, and then I thought, "My like, holy fuck, dude! There's thousands of them, thousands of people that have worked so hard to get out of that environment to go and pursue an opportunity in which their God-given gift and talent and hard work has been pushing for." Yeah, all because for the greater good 
bro, fuck off now, dude. I'm done. I have no, I'm, I'm, I'm past. So it's just like there was like, I feel like there's just been like no effort put into making it work. Isn't it weird? I, I mean, like th- there's professional athletes playing sports right now with no, with no, it sucks. There's no spectators and it's kind of weird watching the NBA, but they fucking figured it out. I mean, college sports, like these kids are isolated. These kids are. They're already semi-isolated oh, at college. That's what I mean. And there's way more disease in college than anything i mean <laughs> there is it's no it's just it's just wild man like this is this is their this is their entire future yeah it's, this is this is their building blocks this is their discipline fuck even even the high school kids now there's nothing for them to do from two thirty three o'clock when they get done school till six thirty seven. what are they going to be doing fucking Dude, they're gonna get in, they're gonna get in trouble. They're gonna create bad habits. They're gonna be lazy. They're gonna be. Oh yeah, bro. Sports, oh, yeah, important. <laughs> at, at a youth level, again, the fucking kids, mm-hmm. the youth. Mm-hmm. I don't know, man. I don't get it. I haven't quite added everything up yet. Yep. <laughs> I'm not good at math, but this doesn't add up. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> When you go through so much in life, when you go through so much in life that you start being like, man, I, you know, that whole thing of trust your gut, like you'll feel it, you'll realize it. I feel like whenever I get into a situation, I'm like, this kind of smells like shit. <laughs> and I'm like, that looks like shit. And then somebody's like, no, 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 it's not shit. It's actually, it's actually a really great thing that I've been working on. It's not shit. Might taste like it though. It's gonna taste like shit. It is, but no, it's great. It's really good for you. Mm. It's all for your better well-being. So it looks, smells, and tastes like shit. Mm. But you're telling me it's not. Hey, guess what? It's shit. I know it is. Fuck you. I've been there. I've been. I it's s- it's shit. Fuck you. I stepped in that before. But the thing is, people like to people people don't want to believe that bad exists. Or mm-hmm. People don't like to believe that evil exists. People don't like to believe that. And and just because someone else says it, they feel better about it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like if you've ever been lied, manipulated, or you've been fucking in a bad relationship or anything like it, or had a bad business deal, or had anything fuck you over, or even you fuck someone else over, because you learned how to do that. You know what something looks like and tastes like and smells like. Yeah. This is shit. It's shit. And there's a lot of fucking bad people in high spots that I don't really have any respect for anymore. Because I work really hard and I know the type of person I am and I know the type of person I want to be. And I don't think these motherfuckers are like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Nope. Fuck them all. <laughs> so, moving on. Shane, Hi. good to see you. Big fights this weekend, buddy. Huge fights. Really? Oh, yeah. boy. Really big fight this weekend. Mm. It's mm. a big one. Stipe and uh, Cormier, three. Mm. Yep. I would like to know, Shane, who you're taking in this fight. Man. Oh, you don't mm. even have an answer yet. I'd like Usually to. Usually you're so, like, fucking spot There's on. Two, I, I, I mean, I am, but I'm, I mean, I'm going to get hate for this. I really don't care. Two how things. Can you, how can you get I hate, hate for what you're going to say? People love you. I know. I hate Cormier. I fucking hate him. John oh. Jones will knock him out every day of the week. I hate you. I don't like you. <laughs> Welcome to the hate you cocksucker. Yeah. Why don't you like Daniel Cormier? Because he's a fucking douchebag. You're a fucking douchebag. He's a great, he's a nice lady. <laughs> oh, God. Um, I like Stipe. I think Stipe is going to win. I think he's going to send Cormier into retirement miserable. <laughs> I, now I know why I know why you said people are going to hate you for this. I hate you for this. I don't like you right now. <laughs> he can stick to commentating. He's really good at that. So, uh, Shane. It's like Dominic Cruz. You're, you should have retired when Stipe knocked you out last, last fight. He's a Hall of Fame UFC heavyweight champion. He's not my Hall of Famer. <laughs> oh, you are such a you are such an asshole. I love you fucking with everybody right now. Look how hard you're going. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I do like. Uh, 
<laughs> it's like you search for people for ways for people to fucking hate. No, I, th- I mean, I think it's going to be a really good third fight. I, I think. I, I mean, I, I I get where you're coming from. No, uh, no, you, honest opinion. I do think Cormier is going to win. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I do. I think he he switched his training up. You th- wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I was fucking with you the okay, first time. Okay, thank God. Yeah. <laughs> no, I think Cormier is going to win. Cormier, but he I really think he's hates him, win. but. <laughs> um, he's been he switched up his training. He's. He is back to the way he was training before he fought Steve. He he did say that he trained differently. Like when he just made every excuse up not to go to the gym, not to do little yeah. things. Um, I, I mean, you have to go out on top, right? I yeah. think he's. I think he's going to. I. I what were the other? How did the other two fights? So he caught him in the first one. Cormier got him. Mm. Cormier's short and fat. Mm-hmm. Okay, he's does. If you saw him, pull him up on the screen, Shane. Daniel Cormier is one of the best wrestlers of all time in the UFC. Okay. Yeah, you got to go pull up an image of him. There he is. Yeah, that's him. Okay. He's a chubby little guy. Little Feck, yeah. Yeah, a fit. Little Feck. <laughs> <laughs> so he can fight at light heavy. He has fought John Jones at light heavy and never beat mm-hmm. John Jones at light heavy. Mm-hmm. However, as a heavyweight, I mean, he's been able to hang and take the hits and go through it, and he's been a heavyweight champion. So. A um, little thicker, little thicker, but hell of a wrestler. That's Stipe. That's Stipe. Maybe get one that, like the side by side, so we they Bob can get a. That was the second fight where he found his ribs. He started pounding the motherfucker's ribs. First one Cormier mm-hmm. won. Second one Stipe won. Cormier mm-hmm. was winning the second one, the yeah. second mm-hmm. fight, and then all of a sudden Stipe made an adjustment and started banging this fucking dude's body. Mm-hmm. Like yep. it would, bro. <laughs> It got to the point where I'm like, there was a couple shots where I'm like, bro, you're, you should not be getting up from that hit. Yeah. And just like punching him in the fucking ribs, kicking him, fucking, he just started pounding his body, chopped him down, beat the shit out of him. And I think it was a technical knockout, TK. Yeah, technical knockout. I think he took, I, I don't know if they say that or what not. What a difference in body type. And yeah. Oh, bro, look at the size difference, bro. Yeah. But. Stipe is good. Stipe is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. All right, phenomenal heavyweight champion. I'm a big fan of both. Stipe is a fucking firefighter. Yeah, mm. just <laughs> Cleveland, Cleveland firefighter. Cleveland. Uh huh. No shit. Why did I think he was in the Midwest? No, he's in Cleveland. But uh, yeah, go to the one bottom right there, Shane. This one? No, bottom right. Oh. oh, yep, that one. Look how big he is. Yeah. Large fella. Big dude. Big mm-hmm. dude. So anyway, this is their third one. This is the this is the the trilogy one and one. And then now we're going to see what happens. Cormier, if he would have made adjustments and not because he got a little tired in the second fight, if he would have been in better shape and made some adjustments, I think he would have won mm-hmm. um, because he's that good at wrestling. He's that good at controlling a fight, yeah. um, For especially against such a big guy like that. All Stipe did was make adjustments and start fucking pounding the dude. Mm-hmm. So that was where Cormier, I think, like Shane said, realized and he was talking he's like he just made excuses Mm -hmm. you can't whenever you're a fucking heavyweight champion you can't make excuses they they always called the heavyweight champion the baddest man on the planet the fight for the baddest man on the planet monsters yeah i'm excited because if if cormier wins obviously has to vacate the title so yeah what they they're gonna maybe do Derek lewis versus naganu maybe i don't know that'd be kind of cool i think it's cool okay all right so you're taking cormier Mm mm-hmm I am. I'm up for anything. I. Uh, I. I like Daniel Cormier. Mm-hmm. I love him as a commentator. I think he yeah. is for as good as he is at this. I like watching fights with him and Joe Rogan. Yep. I think like if you listen to a fight with anybody other than Joe Rogan and Daniel Cormier, mm-mm. not even close in comparison yeah. as entertaining. Yeah. Like they should be paying those gentlemen incredibly well yep. to do that. Paul Felder's gotten better. These last few cards, he he's has, gotten a you're lot right, better. He has gotten better. Mm-hmm. But those two commentating, Rogan and Cormier, it's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Unmatched. Like, it, yeah, you can't even. They're like fucking John Madden and uh, yeah. what's his, Pat Summerall. Yeah. Like, that's the combo we got there. Yeah. Um, but I would, I, I'm, I'm up for anything. Mm-hmm. I think I want to see Cormier win and go out on top, vacate the title, and then see something after it. But I won't be surprised if Stipe comes in and fucking lays an ass whooping either yeah because the dude also is like i have the title in my fucking hands this dude is coming at me like a fucking rabid dog i better have my shit together mm-hmm. and he ain't no pussy no i think cormier is gonna try to wrestle him more if, he if, has to if 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 
Stipe did not work on his wrestling and takedown defense, and it it could be it. Cormier had him in the first two rounds. Mm -hmm. He lights him up. So we'll see how this goes. Yeah. I'm excited. I'd like to see Cormier win, but I won't be disappointed if Stipe wins either. I'm just yeah. a fan. Just watching it. Yeah. I enjoy the show. They, they And they do put on a show as well. They do. Like, they fucking fight each other. It's not like they're a couple of pussies going at it. No, they're fucking yeah. going in. Mm -hmm. um, the co-main, how about that? O'Malley versus Vera. That fucking O'Malley, dude. Like I told him, call me. If you want me to fucking help you sell T-shirts. I hope you. If you can sell fucking 50,000 items... I can help you. <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, I haven't dude, got a phone call yet. Uh, dude, it, it's nuts. It's going to be, be a great fight. This dude's another showman. Hmm. I could understand why he could sell some fucking shit. You just need people to fucking put it in place to do so. O'Malley's like, pull him up so you can see him. Do you see what he did to his hair? No, uh-uh. The, the dude he's fighting is Ecuadorian. He dyed his hair the uh, Ecuador flag. Oh, <laughs> he's a fucking piece of work. Yeah, he's a fucking savage. What's, oh, what's he weigh again? Is it are like these one forty five ers? One forty, one forty five. That dude would fuck me up. <laughs> dude, he he even said on on camera that he goes for highlight reels. Like he wants to look back at his fights and only see highlights. Well, if you are a talented individual, like okay, Deion Sanders, prime time. Yeah, like I just saw the thing on Barstool Sports with him and shit. I love his quotes. And I'm like, I'm like. They called him prime time for Christ's sake. Yeah. He wanted to be the highlight reel. Yep. If you are so talented that you are capable of being the highlight reel, why wouldn't you? That's how you make money. Exactly. That's how you take your shit to the next level. So yeah. I'm all for it. I think, again, within business, when you're dealing with fucking businessmen, you have to be prepared. They're businessmen. They're not fighters. These fighters do deserve to get paid. Yep. They do deserve to be taken well taken care of that's why you need to hire a manager that knows business you can't go be a fucking athlete and go into a fucking business meeting with a goddamn business shark that's not how this fucking mm, works you're yeah. going to lose you can't just say like oh yeah i like fighting i'll fight for anything then sign the contract and you're like fuck fuck <laughs> damn can't it do that. i'm worth way more shots. than this i missed fucking seven million dollars <laughs> what are you doing yeah, yeah. No, you. Uh, like he so said he's happy with his contract right now he goes ask me on august 16th i'll say i'm worth more <laughs> Ah, yeah. See, yeah, you got to have that. <laughs> yeah. You have to. Ha so as a businessman, if somebody was telling me these, these things and I was in that position, I'd be like, all right, motherfucker. Well, then let's put you on a performance based uh, performance based salary. Mm -hmm. Let's put you in a performance based contract. Mm -hmm. If you don't deliver, <clears throat> you don't get paid. How's that sound? You sell tickets. You put on a fucking highlight reel. You get paid, motherfucker. Yep. That's how it should be. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I I don't know if that is or not. I could be talking out my ass already, and that's how they do well, do some of them. Every every business is different. Like you have one championship, you have Bellator, UFC, bare knuckles. So Paige Van Zant, that the one woman who fought a couple cards ago, I know who Paige got, Van Zant is. got choked out in the first round, yeah. right? She just signed a multi fight, multi million dollar contract with bare knuckles because UFC wouldn't pay her. Yeah, like yeah, you lost. You got choked out in the first round, but. That yeah, that company they need a name. That's why they paid her. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. They get your you get your name built up in the UFC. UFC is the top of the top. Anywhere else you go, you're just you just want to fight. Well, you want and more that's money. like this gentleman here doing the hustling. He's working. He's grinding. Oh yeah. If you're a businessman and you see somebody working and grinding as an athlete, and then grows and then people buy it because I don't really I'm not a huge fan of them, but I like them. You're not a fan I, of Sean O'Malley. I don't know him well enough. I don't study. I, I just Sean know O'Malley. of him. I don't follow him. I don't see what he actually mm -hmm. does. Like, there's a lot. For me to actually, like, really enjoy somebody, like, I got to know a little bit more about him. That's yeah. just how I am. But, I mean, I like that he's a fucking showman. I like that he's a little bit of a fucking asshole. I like that he uh, will dye his hair the color of a flag just to fucking get in someone's side, someone's head. Yeah. Like, he's That's doing savage. things. Yeah, he's <laughs> doing things to get, get people to notice. And he's like, I don't care if you don't like me. I'm coming, motherfucker. Like that mentality. He looks so squirrely. Oh, bro. If you watch some of his fights, dude, he's a fucking... Yeah. He's just mean. And, and in fighting, you want that. Those you, fighters you in those that. weight classes. I don't mind paying for these fights because of, of like, him. He's a co-main event. That means that he's coming up. He's going to be the main event soon, and guess who's going to fucking buy it? Yep. These two dickheads, and we're going to love it. Pay the motherfucker. That's how this goes, and, and that's how what people need to understand what John Jones was missing. John, if you were, if you were a little bit better at being, an, being uh, a showman asshole instead of just 
being like like doing drugs and getting caught doing drugs <laughs> would have been way better for you, bud. Yeah. That's just fucking PR. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, uh, yeah. Like, I think athletes, they should get paid more, but Dana White is one of the biggest sharks in the fucking ocean. Mm -hmm. He's a fucking savage. Yep. Absolute mm -hmm. savage businessman. And I, anybody can say what they want about how much money he makes, but, like... <clears throat> When you're a fucking savage businessman, you're you're there because of that. Yeah. Like Dana White's not fighting anybody. He's just gonna have somebody shoot you if you try and fight him. Yeah. Like, yeah. And if and if you don't have an angle, he's not getting behind it. And but he he does like people that are dicks. Yeah. He does like mm -hmm. the people. He fucking loves Conor McGregor. Yeah. He loves Conor McGregor so much that he pays him millions and tens of millions of dollars because he they have business deals mm -hmm. that's what it takes you just can't get behind like the drug use with like john <laughs> you just <laughs> like, you can't promote that kind of even publicity. though we're all like man if i was john jones i'd probably do some fucking blow in vegas too i don't know i'd probably drive a bugatti and get my dick sucked by my old lady here and everybody'd see be like you nice to see you i don't fucking know no nope. you just can't come on john pr do that shit in your room <laughs> don't get caught <laughs> Oh fuck! No, so I'm 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 pumped this weekend. It'll be good fights. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I'm yeah, I'm pumped too. Yeah, I can't stay up. I just can't do it's it. It's fucking rough. It's too. so yeah. late, dude. I can't do it. <laughs> I, Hannah, Hannah's we we she loves watching it. Mm -hmm. um, so does Kim. She really has been getting into it. Like if we buy one and yeah. like even watching the prelim stuff before like the the cards start. Oh like, yeah, she's into it. Oh, and yeah. then. They're exciting. Like they they keep your attention. The, yeah. The commentators are into it. It's just so fast paced. It's fighting for Christ's yeah. sake. Yeah. Boxing used to be massive yeah. back in the day. Like growing up when I was a kid, it was always boxing, and now we have this, and this is fight after fight after fight. Anything anything yeah. can happen. Yeah, because you're getting kicked, you're getting kneed. Man, good card. Good yeah. Card. Hmm. Isn't uh, Rosenstrike fighting too? Um, not on this. Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry, he's fighting uh, Dos Santos. Yeah, he's yep. on this one. Yep. He fought. He fought Naganu last time. Naganu might oh. be the scariest person on the planet. Hmm. I think uh, he fought him. He got. He lost in 14 seconds. Yeah, something like that. Rosen Strike is a scary fucking striker. Mm -hmm. Large black man. Like if you saw him and he came in here, I'd be like, God oh, damn it, to be scared. You got knocked out in 14 seconds. <laughs> you got, yeah. Oh my God, who knocked you out in 14 seconds? Yeah. And then the other guy comes behind him and be like, so like, I'm gonna go home now. <laughs> Nagano is scary big. Like his fist is his fist is can no I, bullshit. Can I see a picture? Yeah. Show Nagano. <laughs> or just pull up the fucking last fight, Nagano and Rosenstrike. Oh Jesus! Oh my God, <laughs> dude, he's scary. Yeah, fuck yeah, he is. Okay, there's a picture of him right below your mouse. He oh, look. Oh shit! He knocked that dude out in 14 seconds. Dana White's just a short white guy in between them. Dana White's not a small man, is he? I don't know. I don't. I think he's like six foot, something like that. He's not five six like me. I know that. Pull up, see if you got the uh, the video of it. Go on YouTube. Go right. on the tube. Rosenstrike. What a good name. Mm. Like a good like fighting name. Oh yeah, he's from. Uh, yeah, I don't know where he's from. What we got. Fourteen yeah. seconds, huh? Yeah. What an ad. Oh, Modelo. Yeah. I love beer. I did get a little fat from drinking too much I beer. stopped and got some beers the other day. There we go. There he goes. This is it. That's a lot of meat. It happens so fast. What does he catch him with? Oh, he just goes at him. It's freaking nuts. Oh. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Did you see Derek Lewis's knockout this past weekend? Like, like Bro, the power. Like, he fucking popped him. Wow. What does that feel like? I don't know, and I don't want to fucking find out. I got in the bar fights. I never fought, like, an actual trained fucking killer. I mean, dude. He, those are precision strikes. 
Oh my God. This is nuts. Derek Lewis is the black, black dude. Oh. oh. <sighs> Just a lot of mass coming at you. Holy shit. <laughs> Derek Lewis is. Uh, oh my God, that the, hurts so bad. The black beast. Yeah, he's. He, uh, he's a dude. That his celebration's my, awesome. My balls was hot. <laughs> Oh, uh, does he have the awesome Instagram? Yeah, that's him. Account? Yeah. So yeah. he's just, a t- he's been. Wow, pretty agile for a large, large man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just because these guys are a little on the chubby side, don't mean they're fucking no, not, dude. They're on their toes moving. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fucking Derek <laughs> Luce is. So Derek Luce is notorious for like being down in a fight and then just fucking coming out and mangoing you. <sighs> Yeah. yeah, I didn't watch this weekend's fights, but Derek did, Lewis is always a fun. Did you hear what he said? His post-fight interview? <laughs> no. He didn't know he was on camera, and he goes, I got to take a shit. And then they were like, hey, Derek, you there? And he goes, oh, my bad. <laughs> Live TV. He's so not going to do it. He knew. He, knew it. he had to know. I got to take a shit. He definitely did. He, I, did I think he had a smirk on his I saw that on Monday. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, uh, damn it. I need some coffee. It grew on me. Ah, <laughs> <clears throat> uh, oh, Hannah just sent me a text. Uh, she sent me a little SJ sitting in his fucking little boppy chair. Mm-hmm. She's like, because Hannah, is, she lives loves background noise in the house with the TVs. Yeah. Uh, one show that uh, she watches, she loves America's Got Talent. And then the, uh, what's the thing with J-Lo and Neo or Neon? And like, it's Neo, not Neon. Sorry. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> God damn it. Are you Such talking about bucket. Siesta Key? God damn it. That's, that's a dad handsome. thing. That's a dad thing to say. Neon, you know. We were just the handsome guy with the fedora. With the fedora. <laughs> Great teeth. Phenomenal teeth. Great smile. My I God. wish I had teeth like these people. They're, they're really yeah. nice. Were you looking them up after that question? No, I You were like, oh, Neo and Fedora. <laughs> <laughs> He's a handsome gentleman. <laughs> soft skin, soft features. Such nice skin. <laughs> Uh, but anyway, the Siesta Key, Siesta. that's her show. Uh, and she put it on as background noise. How wild is that coffee? Holy hell. It's crazy coffee. We, we made the... Oak the, and Bond bourbon barrels. It's it, not even like coffee. No, it is unique It as doesn't taste hell. like coffee. No, it does not. It tastes wild. Yeah. Like, I think that's what it's supposed to taste like. It's a shocking flavor. Yes. Yeah. Like you, I've never. I can't I've, say it's bad bro, or good or I don't know what it is. I don't is. know what it is, uh-uh. bro. I've drank. I drink coffee everywhere I go just to try it. Mm-hmm. This is the most unique, mm-hmm. insane coffee I've ever tried. You're gonna probably like, like, where's the coffee at? It doesn't taste like coffee. Mm-mm. No. I kind of. It's kind of like growing on me now. I know. Like I've been drinking it here. It threw me off at first. I was like, I gotta drink this whole cup to see what it makes makes me feel like. But anyway, she sends me this picture. SJ's watching Siesta Key. It's like, at least he likes blonde bimbos. <laughs> big ass titty bitches on the beach. Fucking A, kid. Just don't listen to them. They're all whores. <laughs> don't fall in love with a whore, bud. Uh, <laughs> I never watched that show. Fuck, no. It's just shit. Yeah, it's bad. I, I did look. So, like, I do my fantasy looking at nighttime a couple days a week. Mm-hmm. Um, I did look at... Real estate in Siesta Key, mm-hmm. very expensive. Yes, it's near Sarasota mm-hmm. area, and Sarasota is very expensive. Eh, it's, yeah, it's expensive. It's expensive. Fuck yeah, it is. Yeah. I don't want to live in Sarasota though. Mm-mm. It's not because I don't love Jason. I love Jason. There's lots of sharks there. Yeah, Sarasota, <clears throat> that area there, that little inlet part, bull sharks, hammerhead sharks. Oh, they're fine. Those are like the two most aggressive sharks in the game. No, you can pet them. Yeah, but you can re- just because you watched fucking guy on Shark Week doesn't mean you can pet fucking bull sharks. Listen, They're you, gonna you, bite your calves off. They can eat you whole. Like they'll rebound from it. Yeah. Like if, unless they go for your throat, like you can probably you'll, you'll just miss a few ligaments, maybe. Yeah, you may not be walking real great on that leg. I but... tell you what, I'd be cool with when I'm like 45 and I'm in my beach house somewhere. Like I don't care if I get my calf bit off when I'm like 45. Yeah. yeah. 
Like not now though. They're too, they're still important. Yeah. But like when I'm 45 and I like wear, wear my cargo shorts out and got my kids and people and people see like a chunk missing there, mm-hmm. and then they're like, "What happened?" I'm like, oh, "I got fucking bit by a shark." Like that's that's a fucking battle scar everybody wants to hear about. It's like you all have the the local like you're a local story. Like you have a local national phenomenon. I'm yeah. on Shark Week getting yeah. talked to like I'm a fucking expert because I got my calf bit off when I was fucking diving baked out of my mind. I can see you getting interviewed trying to go fucking spiny lobster fishing or snorkeling. Yeah, and like I just got bit by a shark and I know nothing about them, but they're an ex- I'm an expert. I can right. see the whole interview on Shark Week, like a big production. Yeah, yeah the fucking shark came out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> took my good calf. Yeah, you should see it. Before, look, look at the picture. It was great. You pull up pictures and like you pulled up like your most shredded look ever. <laughs> I looked like that before the calf. <laughs> Ten years from now, put it on the calendar. I'm cool. I'll, I'm. Um, I have this. Uh, yeah, I want to. Um, yeah, Siesta Key's nice. There was uh, dude. That show sucks so bad. Yeah, like I, I have a hard time with background noise. Like I can't do background noise. I hate it. I don't do well with it. We we used to like we almost always needed it. And after we moved out here, dude, and not having cable and now hearing it, I'm like, no, I don't want the news on. I don't want fucking Sports Center on. I can't do shit. Sports Center's fucking political now. There's Just, almost nobody's voice I can I can listen to and or trust or I. You know what? Uh, I can get lost with like a, a podcast mm-hmm. when I'm cutting grass or like I'm doing. Yard work uh, or working at the house, like I can get lost with a podcast. Even keeping the the NBA games on now, it's not the same. No, I liked hearing the crowd. I didn't. Yeah, like I liked all the commotion and the fucking oh, craziness. Yeah. And now it's like it sounds like tennis. It's weird. You, you know? guys should put this podcast on for background noise when you're at home or something. I can listen. I can listen to myself. Mm-hmm. Probably question and be like, man, what the fuck did I just say? Man, I don't remember three. I laugh so in. hard at myself. I, I don't like, remember. Like if we have like a little joke, I think like re-listening to, it, I'm like, man, that was fucking. <laughs> how fucking funny were we today? <laughs> you know, you got it, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I'll sit there, like headphones in, and I'll be like, yeah, classic <laughs> killer. Yeah, killer, classic me. <laughs> or I'll be like, babe, babe, hey, hold on, hold, listen, listen. I talked about something sexually like we never did, but we did it. <laughs> Can we do it now? Oh, my God. No, the uh, – but I don't know. Uh, the, the show the show's pretty pretty rough, Siesta Key, but it's um, – uh, but I, I will – like, did we talk about it on here? What? About the kid that has the opportunity and he doesn't on Siesta Key? I don't think so. Oh. Uh, what did I say? Uh, maybe I did. I don't know. This oh, kid, yeah. one of the one of the members on Siesta Key, he wants to pursue his music career. Oh, I think you did say. Yeah, that. but his dad's like a yeah. multi fucking millionaire. Yeah, and all yeah that. you did say that. Yep. God damn it! Yeah. He's watching it now. He's blonde bitches, blonde oh. beach bitches, mm. Mm. whores. <laughs> <laughs> I'm such Debatable. an asshole. Like, they're not all whores. <laughs> Some are really sweet girls. There's like one or two that are really sweet. They're just trying to play for college. I'm cool. Somebody somebody also posted more stuff about the OnlyFans stuff. I'm cool with it. I don't have uh, any problem. What I had a got? funny. Got I had a, a funny Only meme. Guy. I had a funny meme. Mm. Um, okay, good. Fuck. How do you get, how do you find those? If you weren't who you were and people didn't know who we were, <laughs> would you start an OnlyFans page to make money? Probably. W- I, would you? Yeah. I think I might like. Secretly. I might have one now. Really. I'm, no, you I have don't. one. No, I don't. My, my thing is now, like, Solo. I couldn't start an OnlyFans page <clears throat> right now because then I, I'm. I mean, I could. I might start one and like not do what you're usually doing on there. I definitely show my asshole every day. <laughs> I have a great looking butthole. <laughs> great job. How, how do you know? I stare at it in the mirror. <laughs> how? You put uh, one on the floor. I am flexible. <laughs> You just put one leg up there and... I can put my head through my legs and spread my cheeks. A gay guy would love me. <laughs> oh gay guys God. love me. Um, Jesus. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> you fucking assholes. All right, this meme... As soon as I saw it, I was like, Seth, 
<laughs> it says <laughs> it says only fans, but it's me beating up my or me and my homies beating up abusive boyfriends and pedophiles. It'll be called only hands. Oh man, I'd love yeah. to do that. Join only fans page today. <laughs> we're going to kick the shit out of this dude. That's an abusive cocksucker. <laughs> hey everybody, hope you're all having a great day. Today we're going to fuck up Jim <laughs> Jim Bob at. 159 <laughs> New Texas Road. <laughs> Apparently got arrested for beating up his girl, and he didn't go to prison, so we're going to pay him a visit. We're like, film subscribe. It all. Make sure you like the channel. It's like Seth the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> Tag us, and with any assholes you need taken care of, we'll be there. Oh, my God. That's a legit show. We can make that. That's what Dog the Bounty Hunter yeah. was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw someone tag us on, I think they tagged us on Facebook, on the Facebook group. Some very large gentleman is making uh, a small fortune on OnlyFans, like just eating like 10,000 calories a day. What? Yeah. Like big, large, fat man eating 10,000 calories a day, like killing it. Like making money. (laughs) I'm lost. I don't know. Some people want to watch that. Is he naked? Uh, yeah, it was like a screenshot. So like, he's all like his big belly's out. He's all like shirtless. So I'm assuming he's completely naked and then just eats. What's going on? I don't know, man. What's happening on that channel? I don't know. Things I don't really want to think it's op- about. It's opportunity, you know? I mean, I'm all for opportunity. <laughs> I'm all for, I'm, I am, there is, I don't think there could be more of a person for people making money off of anything so than like, me. So like, I don't think the dude doing it is as weird as the people watching him. That's where I'm getting to. Because he's like, fuck it. You know what I really like doing? I like sitting mm-hmm. with my shirt off all day because I get hot and I want to eat. I just like eating food. I mean, again, Opportunity. Opportunity. Season. Smart man. I mean, Doesn't have to change much about his lifestyle. Making me sweat, kind of. I haven't been sweating. I'm nervous about what I'm going to see on that channel if I go on there. I feel like we should maybe take a gander into OnlyFans and learn more about this because I think that there's more people doing non-sexual things than we think. Well, the, the thing about what I saw is that you can't like even really navigate and check things out because you have to subscribe or pay for every single like there's no like free account. No, 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 no free accounts. I meant like so like you don't even know what they're into. So you have to like subscribe first to figure out what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe is there like a bio? Maybe, is it like a private channel? Oh, fuck it. You, let's find you somebody. can see some bios on there. I've seen bios and maybe like I show my butthole. For fifty dollars a month every day, it's a big deal. People are making a lot of money from this. Let's make one. I'm all for it. It'll be called the Three Musketeers. Okay. I'm using It'll the- be us just smiling and giving you a thumbs up every day for a dollar a month. <laughs> as of April 24, the OnlyFans is a billion dollar business. What? Yeah. Say that again. As of April 24th, they were. A billion dollar business. Oh, April. we're in. I have an account, Bob. I use the uh, podcast email. <laughs> With my fucking name, you asshole. Are you serious? Bro, at least change my fucking name in there. He says, he says I just used the podcast email to create an Yeah, account. display name, Robert Doucher. Thanks. <laughs> Jim Bob. No, no, give it a real name. Give it a real name. Give it uh, Roberto Dautrick. <laughs> get get out of here. <laughs> Fuck off. Oh, what should I change this to? <laughs> that could have got me in some trouble, dude. <laughs> Kim's like, yeah, I saw found Robert Dautrick on there. <laughs> it's a different one, I swear to God. Oh, it's just shame. Oh, yeah, it's the podcast email, dickhead. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> yeah, trying to hide it over there, huh? I believe you now. Jane's like, excuse me, uh, can I have your company card, Bob? <laughs> it matches. <laughs> oh, man. You oh, we could set our subscription price. We need to add a bank account. Oh, no shit. Yeah. So w- to become part of OnlyFans, do you need to have an OnlyFans like page? Or do you like a subscriber and a, uh, or a subscriber and like a doer? Two same thing or t- two different things? I think it's two different accounts. You just need the link to pay for their shit. (laughs) (laughs) 
Hate Who fuckery. the fuck would sign up for that through Google? <laughs> like, like, you know how like there's all these like subscriptions and these things. Hey, do you want to sign up through your Google account or use just your email? Or use your email or Facebook yeah. or Twitter account? Yeah, let's use the HWF body, podcast. Body email. by Lori. She's free. 5.1. Body by Lori. What does she say? My messages are free. Oh, messages. See, there's the messaging thing. Uh-huh. Fitness, nutrition, motivation. We can totally do this. It's like Instagram. Hold on. Okay, so this, physical updates, this, this bikini may, shoots, and more. This may be like a PG thirteen page. Oh, okay. Tell they us. have those on here too. They're locked though. Oh, subscribe. Oh, I think it's free to subscribe. Yeah. Well, oh, follow for free. Oh, have, free subscription. Uh, Fuck. You we still got, need a uh, payment need, method. Need yeah, the payment have, method, so they know that you're not just some creep looking at it. So, well, who's the dude that eats the <clears throat> shit? Eats like a pizza by himself. I don't know. He was very portly, like a very round belly. So, on the OnlyFans thing, are we now just saying people will pay for anything for a certain amount to watch people do things? Whether OnlyFans was nudity, but then we're like, oh, look. Like, I guess what maybe we would say that it's like, uh, like how people created like... Uh, like a daily account for daily updates for nutrition and training and like that whole thing. Like they're just using only fans as their base. Yeah. I, I think for like a paid I way th- to talk to them more. Yeah. I think only fans started as such, like it was going to be a big network that it could essentially be like your Instagram, but now you could get like, for instance, you're if, getting if, paid if, for the information, like, like for OCIN Academy and, and what we got going on with right. that. Or you're a, you're a personal trainer and you want to post workouts every day, but like putting it on your IG, like that's your hard, that's your hard you're work. You're not making money from it. Only fans make some money. Only fans was great. Cre- but then all the whores were like, then all the whores came out. Oh shit. Here we go. <laughs> <clears throat> a little behind shaking. Tell me boy. They probably had that. That was probably their second intention with starting the business. Yeah. Their first being, this is going to be a great spot. We're not going to ban anyone for showing showing some ass. I mean, and I don't think, uh, again, I don't really care how you make money. I don't care if you're fucking Pablo Escobar. I could give a fuck less if you are. I don't care what you do. Just be good at it and make some money. And I'd if you are Pablo, Pablo, if you are, maybe just like, don't kill a lot of people and just make like the city better. Donate mm. some money. Yeah. Such an asshole. I think Pablo did a lot of good. <laughs> he also did a lot of bad. <laughs> he generated a lot of money for the local economy. Well, that's what I mean. There, that country the is, is so addicted, poor, being and he was to drugs is the worst fucking thing possible. Yeah. It's so bad. He just wanted his country to be. I'm okay with cocaine, the heroin, and the fentanyl, and the meth. I'm not cool with cocaine. Yeah. I'm fine with. I'm cool with it, maybe because I like it. I'd probably have a heart <clears throat> attack if I did that again. I'd definitely die. Yeah. It's not the same anymore, I don't think. No, I don't think so. Pop, I'm not getting it for Pablo no more. Mm-mm. He's dead. I liked in the movie Blow was when he was like, if you did cocaine from 1980 to 1984 or some shit like that, he's like, more than likely it came from me. <laughs> There's an 85% chance it came from me. I just watched it on the bike the other morning. Yeah, it's such oh, a good man. fucking movie. It's so oh, good. Oh, it's great. He's like, I can't feel my face. I can't feel it. I'm like, oh, man, is that a great feeling? He gets a really good blow, bro. <laughs> fucking walking through airports. Good fucking. Oh, man. Good movie. Really good. Well done. Great well movie. Done. Did you know that Johnny Depp apparently is one of the most well-hung men in Hollywood? I believe it. I figure, right? Yep. Sean Connery's up there, too. Yeah. I bet I Pierce know. Brosnan is, too, then. No, oh, right. did you I see? I don't know if he... Him. I don't know if you were, like, involved on the... on the DM, but someone DM'd me a James Bond shirt. Mm. And it said Bond, B-O-N-D, and it was Brosnan, and then, like, they had each, each fucking Bond, uh. like, with their face and... If Daniel Craig was on it, I wouldn't wear it. He was. He I was the D. It. Nope. He's the D. <laughs> Daniel. Daniel. <laughs> I like Daniel Craig. I like him. He was great in uh, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Oh, yeah. Fucking stellar right. movie. 
I, 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 what did I watch? What have I watched recently? I really haven't watched. I haven't watched too many movies. You have to watch The Tax Collector. With Shia LaBeouf. Outstanding fucking movie. Really? Yes. It is fucking out of control. Really? Dude, it is one of the coolest, most gruesome, gory, like, drug kingpin movies I've ever seen. Wow. No shit. Yeah, it's fucking really cool. I'm excited. Yeah, you have to watch it. Shia LaBeouf has had a wild career outside of the screen. Oh, yeah. Ups and downs and everything. And I don't know I don't know if I'm supposed to like him or hate him. Yeah. Because there's been, like, good and bad. Mm-hmm. I like Sh- it. The Shane look just said that he's a fucking asshole. Yeah, he ruined Transformers. Fuck him. Transformers kind of sucked did. anyway. No, Transformers is awesome. Yeah, the first one was awesome. Yeah, then he ruined it. Yep. Mark Dick Wahlberg did not do a good job. Oh, no. no. That was rough. No, no he got John stick. Cena. <laughs> no. He has to I stick the Cena was in one? You didn't even see him. <clears throat> yeah. I couldn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, Shia actually... How his... bad is that fucking guy's career now because <laughs> of that? I think it's... I don't think it's bad. I think he's, like, booming. I think it's... <laughs> He's tried to move into certain roles, and people are like, oh, I still can't see him. Like, it's never going to go away. No. That is something that's going to be with him forever. He is funny in that fucking, uh, uh, what's that movie called? It's like him and all the parents, and like their kids are going to prom oh, yeah, and shit. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Cock blocked, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, yeah, cock blocks. Yeah. Cock blockers or something. Yeah, shit. cock blockers. Yeah. yeah he's pretty funny, funny in yeah, that. Yeah, he's a good dad. He needs to stick to those roles. I'd love him in that. Mm-hmm. He can't do much more than that. No serious stuff for him. Because I can't take him serious. Yeah. Shia got his entire chest tattooed, like, for the movie. But, like, it's real. What? Yeah, I'm almost... Po- Look it up, Shane. So you... He, like, didn't... Don't, like, fake stuff. No, like, apparently he filled his chest and his torso for, like, for this role. Yeah. There he is. Oh, shit. Bro. Yeah, dude. Filled his entire... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now I definitely don't like Dude him. went in. Bro, what are you doing? Look, there he is. Uh, bottom right picture. Yeah, that's his role in the movie. His name's Creeper. You don't fuck with this guy. Man. His creepers on his stomach. Yep. Huh. Yeah. Dude, you're crazy. Is that real? That's a real tattoo, bro. Real tattoo. Where are you going on Instagram? I want to find out. You want to see if he posted <laughs> it? Gonna, how are you going to find out? Or, they just. Is Shia on? I want to know if that's real. I don't even know if he has an Instagram anymore. I don't think he does, dude. Fuck. That's not him. It's definitely real. Here's a video of him getting tattooed. Ah. He looks like he's out cold. Yeah, you got to watch it. Fucking crazy movie. I got to. I'm pumped now. I kind of like want to be like them. It just seems so like badass. Who? Like these like him and the other dude. What's his name? Bobby Bobby Soto or Listen, something like that. If you like Bad motherfuckers. They don't actually touch the drugs. There's nothing. They just collect the money. There's nothing. When you have nothing in those types of countries, and you have nothing, and it's drug-ridden, you're not allowed to have anything else. Mm -mm. You don't got nothing else. That's why people want to come to America, because the opportunity. There, there's like two things. You're either... And the cartels, or you're nothing. Mm-hmm. Right. That's scary. That's terrifying. Mm-hmm. And that those type of guys, like, bro, watching, uh, 
watching any of those fucking movies. Like, uh, what's the other one with, um, oh, oh, I can't believe I'm, fi- I'm, I'm lost. I don't know what's the guy's name? It was about the cartels, and uh, Josh Brolin was in it, um, and so was uh, Emily Blunt. She was in the first one. Oh, um, day. Ah, oh, fuck me. You ever see Sicario? That's what is it's that Sicario? Like Sicario. Yeah. 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 Day of Sol- love that movie. Sodaldo, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Like that's. It's real as fuck. I don't know if it's real because I'm up here in Western PA and fucking out here. I don't know about going down there and those things actually occurring. I think they really do. I can imagine. Like every I don't day. think, like, we know drug. Here's the thing drug cartels are real. Right now, drug cartels are making mass amounts of money on human trafficking. Okay? That's, that's, a, that's a real <clears throat> thing as well. Human trafficking is a multi billion dollar industry. If something is a multi-billion dollar industry and you have people that have no respect for humanity, trafficking is going to become a big thing. Mm-hmm. That's a big thing. There is nothing polite about these gangs and these people and what they're doing. Like any of these fucking politicians that are like, oh, ms thirteen's okay. Like, no, dude, they should not be in America. They're bad fucking people. They have no respect for anything. We see them fucking rape, kill, and pillage people. Mm-hmm. In the fucking, along the border. Yet, it's okay. Fuck you, dude. That's bad. Drug cartels are not nice. Mm -mm. It's scary. Yeah. Fucking terrifying. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. It's like like that thing because you don't see it, you don't think it exists. Just because your wife's sucking someone else's dick doesn't mean it's not happening. Wait, what? Yeah, bud. <laughs> Fucking there is bad shit in the world. That's why it's so important to be a good motherfucker and do a good job. But also, be polite, be respectful, but have a fucking plan to kill everybody. Mm-hmm. That's kind of how I like to run things. Mm. Do a good job, Seth. Yeah. Oh, man. Well, Shaner, I think this was a podcast full of entertainment and intensity and good. Everybody, please make sure that you uh, go purchase the Zoe shirt. Yeah. Um, show some support. Do a good job. Wear the shirt. Tag us. Take a picture of yourself in it. Tag us. Send it to us. We're putting together a compilation for the family to make sure that they're feeling that there is a mass amount of people behind them to make sure that they don't have to worry about the things in life. They should focus on their on their family. Yep. Most important thing, keep doing a good job, everybody. Work hard. Enjoy life. And Shane, do we have some questions? I only have two questions. Two questions. Yeah. Well, they better be fucking good. I don't think actually, the are. other question that you asked before the podcast was actually pretty good as well, Bob. Mm, what was it? Uh, about, <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Short-term memory loss due to marijuana use. <laughs> oh, that's a thing, too. I heard about that. <laughs> the Spider-Man, oh, Iron yeah. Man, and Batman. Yeah. <laughs> that one. What? Uh he asked a question, how, why is it that Batman, Spider-Man, and Iron Man are all like superheroes, but they're all spelled differently? Batman is one word. Iron Man is two words. And Spider-Man is two words with a hyphen between the spider and the man. Yep. Why are they all spelled differently? I'm not no English major, but that doesn't look right. <laughs> I feel like they should all be one word. Yep. <laughs> Like, Iron Man should be one word if Batman's one word. For sure. Or is it because iron is not, like, uh, is it, iron is an inanimate object. Bat is a thing. Spider is a thing, too, so why the fuck is there a hyphen? Or a am bat, I allowed to do... A bat's a thing, too, though. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, oh. Why is Batman and Spider-Man? Like, a bat and a spider, both animals. But not one animals. hyphen. One's hyphen. Is it a hyphen because it's an insect? Or an arthropod? Or... Yeah, I don't know. Or bat because it's a fucking ugly thing in the sky. Which one is it? I don't know. It might just be like a, a typography thing, like for a good look, like a look. That's the thing, too, for graphics. You know graphic stuff. Yeah. So what's your answer there? I don't know. Superhero? I have no idea. I never really thought about that before. You just like it. Yeah. I knew Spider-Man was hyphenated, though. Like, that's something I knew. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. It was one of those memes where it was like husband and wife laying next to each other in bed. And she's like, oh, he's probably thinking of other women. 
And his thought was, man, why is Batman, Batman. one word, Iron Man two, and Spider-Man has a little dash in between it? <laughs> That's that fucking stoner shit that when you're stoned as fuck at night, oh, and yeah. you're laying on the couch, and you're just like zoning the fuck out, and like, what are you thinking about over there? And you're like, I don't really want to tell you what I'm thinking, because you're going to judge me. <laughs> I'll do like the smirks and like start laughing to myself, and Kim's like, what are you thinking about? I'm like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. It's crazy. I feel like I'm a few different people at times. <laughs> like, when I'm in the fucking gym, I'm a psychopath. <laughs> like, I'm back. The arm, I'm fucking growing again. Like, all this stuff. So when I'm in the gym, I'm like, I am fucking killing this shit. Mm-hmm. When we're in business, it's like fucking, I know exactly, fucking decisive, on it, shark-esque at this point. Mm-hmm. And then... I get on here and I'm just a fucking jerk off. <laughs> like like I want to be 99% of my day. <laughs> and then I go home and I'm dad, I'm goofy and I'm stupid. And then like, I don't know, I feel like there's all these different parts of who I am that I catch. I think everybody's like that. I think so. Everybody has to be like that. Whenever you're at work and you are doing a job like that's, that's intense or in a meeting or something that has a lot on the line, you can't be like... I feel it's like how you can keep up with yourself. Yeah, I guess. You know guess. what I mean? Like you need these moments of like, okay, I need to just be like a complete jerk off here for like three hours. And dick then, joke. Yeah. Time for a dick joke. All right, back to work. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Shane, go fuck yourself. Hi, Seth. Good morning. <laughs> Let's get my day started, Shane. I got to feel the vibe. <laughs> I guess, yeah, that's important because, you know, shit, life gets tough. And I guess that's on job sites whenever you're doing a big job or something. That was a whole thing in the morning, busting balls, talking about pussy and all that stuff. And Just a little little comic relief. Yeah, you need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, because being back in the gym, I'm like, I'm fucking in it. I yeah. feel it. I love it. I got it. Mm-hmm. And now it's like, okay, then I go do this and that. It's important. Mm-hmm. But why is it three different words? Maybe somebody that's an English major could explain it to us. Yeah, whoever does English good, let us know. Do good? You do good English. <laughs> we 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 should ask Megan. Ah, she's the English yeah, queen. She's, I'll, she's I'll fucking, type it up. I'll send it over. She does stuff. Yep. Cool. Yep. yep. Ask her. I will. She could be like, "Are you fucking serious?" This is a question. She will answer it seriously. I know she will too. Yeah. She'll be like, she'll be like, "Okay, so you guys have something that you want to do with this? So this is the right answer." I'll put it in like the subject. Very important. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, now I think everybody figured out that we don't take anything serious from these questions on. So, Shane, what do you got? All right. Would, and these are bad. Like, that's why I'm, like, <laughs> sighing. I'm like, these are fucking terrible. Oh, I know. I couldn't oh, find man, any good ones. You're the fans. Now everybody's like, oh, fuck this. We're I'm done. I'm really sweaty Just, today. What? I'm really sweaty today. So am I. I got pants and sandals on. Hmm. I don't know why. I just uh, put them on this morning. Show show did the uh, sandals and pants yesterday. Yeah. yeah, I never do this look, and I'm enjoying it though. That's Jay's like I, year round. I have a thing with like not letting pants around my ankles though, like sweatpants. You don't like it around that. I don't like. I pull my sweatpants up over my calves. It's why I wear high socks, dude. Really? I hate 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 my pants around my ankles. I like I I can't have. Like, if I wear pants, I have my boots on. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe I do, and then I don't even know I'm doing it. Like, if I, like if I, whatever reason I, like, take my socks off, like, with pants, like, I'll pull the pant, like, the pant legs up. You never see me wear sneakers with pants. Like, with, uh, you never see me wear sneakers with jeans. No, I've never seen it. No, I won't do it. It's like a fact, fact. I don't know how you'd look with that. Yeah, I'd never do it. No. I won't. I don't know why. Every time I wear fucking, if I wear jeans, I have on my fucking boots. It's yeah. Like a given. Uh huh. I feel like I look funny. You'd probably everybody probably say something. Well, you know what it is. It's like you don't really have like sne- uh, jean sneakers. Your sneakers are like for functional, yeah, like functional things. Yes. Yeah. So are boots. Yeah. So are jeans. We're like Vans. They're very unfunctional sneaker. Yeah. I can't wear Vans, though. I don't know. You tried mine on the one day. I thought they looked good. Mm-mm. I don't like them. Mm-mm. Not on me. No. <laughs> I like them on other people. Yeah. And I put them on me, and then I look down at them, and I'm like, no. 
Yeah, that's a big thing for me, looking down. Looking at myself in the shoes. Not looking at myself in the mirror, but looking down at them. We talked about this before. I have a serious battle with my running shoes. Serious battle. Oh, yeah, they're ugly as fuck. I fucking hate the way they look. <laughs> but they look good when you run in them. Thanks, but I look down at them and I can't stand looking at them. Like, it's the ugliest sneaker I've ever fucking bought in my life. Man. Yeah. Look at you having to fucking do something functional. Yeah. You yeah. get it now. Yep, I get it. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, Shane. Go on with your shitty questions, you That's piece right. of shit. <laughs> <laughs> This is so degrading. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Jesus. I think it is so fucking funny how everybody that writes us a note and sends something to us, every like the fucking, every single the fucking hundreds thing. of things that we receive is like, oh, we love everything. And then at the end of it, it says, fuck Shane. <laughs> I'm like, man, I don't think there's ever been somebody that's been, that's, that could be more famous in your position that people like love to hate and hate to love or however you want to say that. Fucking beautiful. I think they hate the love. I don't know. Anyway. I don't know what that means, but I think it sounds good. Yeah. <laughs> good job. All right. Would you rather... <laughs> ran- <laughs> These are so fucking bad. Let's get it out. Would you, <laughs> would you rather randomly time travel plus or minus 20 years every time you fart or teleport to a different place on Earth every time you sneezed? Mm. All right. So let's take out the, the bodily functions. Yes. Would you rather... What was it? Time travel... Plus, 20, or, plus, plus or minus. Plus or minus 20 years. Yeah. Or would you rather... What was the, what was the end of the question? Um, teleport to a different place on Earth. Teleport to a different place on Earth in the present day. Like when I... Of my choosing. You're choosing the, it. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you can choose. Like whenever I want and I can come back to the present? Um, or no? Let's take it this way. You don't have a choice... You have to do one of them, and it's permanent. Oh, fuck. Oh, shit. Let's make it fun. Okay. So you're either going plus or minus 20 years, uh-huh. the present spot, uh-huh. or you're going to a completely different area throughout the world that's not anywhere near here, mm-hmm. out of the United States, mm-hmm. forever. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> what do you think, Shane? I mean, think? I don't know if I want to teleport out of the country because then it feels like I'm being deported. I love Donald Trump. <laughs> don't let me leave. <laughs> I'm going minus 20 years. Minus 20? Yep. I'm. All right, now, now, okay. Personally, I think Shane just said minus 20 for a couple reasons. <clears throat> One, he'll be able to get stupid rich on stocks yep. and baseball betting <laughs> yep. and sports betting. That was pretty much in Shane's head making that decision. Mm-hmm. Which is pretty great because that means he likes money and cheating, you bastard. <laughs> I'll know every score. <laughs> he'll, he'll know everything. He's like, I remember this game. Million dollars. <laughs> Are you out of your mind? No. People will think I'm psychic. Hey, coronavirus 2019, 2020. <laughs> There'll be something called COVID-19. It'll be great. You guys are going to love it. I bet you it happens. He'll be like, hey, look. The Atlanta Falcons are up 28-3 to three at the end of this half. I'm going to put $10 million for the Patriots to come back. <laughs> Fuck off. No way. 20-1 to one odds. <laughs> Shane becomes a first billionaire from sports betting. <laughs> game after some game. Thing. Just after nonstop. Game. That'd be wild. You'll be like, oh, you know what was a cool movie? Uh, that one with Matthew McConaughey and Al Pacino where Matthew McConaughey was a huge betting guy on college football. Did you ever yeah. see that? I never saw oh, it. I don't know what you're I never saw about. that. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. It was a great movie. Matthew McConaughey was really good at sports betting. It was cool in the beginning, and then it got real bad and yeah. all fucking diabolical and fucked up at the end. It was crazy. Mm. Yeah. Never saw it. <sighs> Me, personally? Yeah. Throw me ahead 20 years. Mm. I'll take the future. Mm. That's not like my personality. Typically, I'd go back in time 20 years. I'd be 15, so it wouldn't be too bad. I'd be jerking off in the bathroom a lot. All over the house. <laughs> Little <laughs> bastards jerking off everywhere. That dick thing. That thing's, how's that thing hard all the time? It's awesome. It's great. <laughs> Look at his dick. <laughs> I'd go ahead 20 years. I'm going back. 
You going back twenty for sure? Yeah, because like twenty ahead for me, like I just feel like it's not far enough ahead because uh, I'm going to see it yeah. anyway. Um, I'll go back twenty just to like taking what I know now and just implementing that into my what would I be eleven year old life? Yeah, yeah, it'd be fucking crazy. Oh yeah, it's a good point. Like I'd be, I'd yeah, be a be crazy, fun. crazy good athlete, like yeah. phenomenal actor. Like for sure. Tom Cruise esque. Yep. <laughs> Mission Impossibles. I'm in all the Mission Impossibles. I I guess uh, twenty years might not be far enough. Maybe if it was like forty and forty. If it was if it was forty ahead, yeah, if it was forty or fifty ahead, I'd I'd go ahead. Yeah, that's yep. a good point. Yeah, that'd probably take more for me now that you made that point. Or really I'd I'd like to go if we were going ahead. I'd love to go like twenty five, t- twenty to twenty five past like my lifespan. Ooh, you know to really because like so like a hundred and twenty five. <laughs> yeah, I would love to go ahead a hundred years. Yeah, I would really like to see a hundred years <clears throat> from right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, twenty one twenty. I'd like to see that year. Be a fucking shit show. I would like the dinosaur era too. Mm, I would not. I'd like that. You're not surviving. If I can take my stuff with me, I think I can. No, you can't. <laughs> yeah. There's no way. There's no way. You're not. I surviving. don't think they're. Ne- I don't think it's like it goes down in Jurassic Park. Like those guys are just fucking morons. The way they set up that park and. I think that if there were dinosaurs <laughs> instead of other animals, I think we're dead. Yeah. I think the yeah, they were and the raptors and even the little guys. Little guys are going to fuck you up. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, you think your house is going to stop a T Rex? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe not the house. No. <laughs> Nothing is. That's why they lived in caves. <laughs> we need stone homes. Because they can't get in there. Or like a steel home. I don't think there was humans back then. Though. Not many. No, maybe Neanderthals. A maybe. maybe Neanderthals. A couple, huh? no, I don't even think they existed either. Monkeys. No, chimpanzees. I think dinos were like a few million years pre. Maybe like 12 or 75 million years before man. I'm no And their bones are still in the ground. Oh, Come, on. Come on. Ah, you're lying. That is a wild thing to think about. To think that there's people that like, like debunk, try and debunk all this shit. I'm amazed there aren't real dinosaurs yet. The alligators. Like, like the movies. I think that there's a lot of things that could occur. It's just one of those like uh, unethical, fucked up things that occur in the world. Like playing God, people have a big problem with that. Um, I believe that uh, this is that part where, I mean, I'm a God-fearing man, but I believe that people on this earth, not everybody's good. There's going to be things that go in the future. Mm -hmm. It's part of the indoctrination program of what's going on in the world. Like to think that there's not world globalists or people that are in the fucking political elites and elitists that want to do fucked up crazy things yeah they're gonna play god problem is is that's why one of the reasons that i believe that god was taken out of schools god was taken out of everything god's taken out of absolutely everything so that playing god isn't like a big thing anymore Hmm. but i think that you're right i think that they can clone a fucking human being i fucking for sure think they think they've cloned like sheep and stuff listen like there's definitely get you can make a raptor I think that they can clone anything. I think that there's a cure for cancer. I think that there's a cure for a lot of stuff. They just don't because, bro, look at the Cancer, cancer Institute. The, 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 all of that, there is way too much money being made through that program. You can't just stop. There is tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of jobs mm-hmm. that rely on that. Mm-hmm. It's not going to go away, dude. If it goes away, a fucking portion of our economy is completely lost. Mm -hmm. Even though it would be good. The fucking billions of dollars that have been spent on cancer research and we still don't have a cure. That smells a little fishy to me. Mm -hmm. We've been able to figure out just about everything else but that. Uh, Man, right? Yeah. Just doesn't feel right. So whenever I stop and think about it, I'm like, God damn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You guys are smartest motherfuckers. Can't make a raptor. <laughs> you can, he, could def- he could definitely do. I think that there's crazy fucked up things that can occur. They still so. talk about it because playing God still not cool enough. Mm-hmm. Twenty twenty one twenty. 
I bet you there's some real fucked up shit. It'll be a whole entire different world. It won't be what it is right now. No. No. It's not what it was six months ago. No. <laughs> <laughs> no Seriously. Fuck no. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Shaner. Would you accept a $30,000 a week job where you would be paid to sit in a pitch black room and do nothing for eight hours? How much a week? 30000 So a buck 20 a month. <laughs> no. No. Nope. I think about it. I did for uh, half a second, and I realized that no. <laughs> I think I'm going to hustle. I'm going to hustle. Mm-hmm. 30000 is not enough. You'd have to pay me. But if you think about it, like, you were paid to sit in a black room. Like, you can go to sleep. So for those eight hours, you can get paid to sleep, and then the other 16 hours you can what go. What happens if part of the deal was you had to be awake for the game that they're playing with you? The psychological psyops. <laughs> <laughs> nope. The no. psychological operation that they are running on you to see what you will do in the eight hours. There's no dollar amount. No, uh-uh. for me, there's no dollar amount. I go to sleep. sleep. You're not allowed to go to sleep. We just said that. We just said. No, that. you said what if? You didn't no, say. No, that. you're not allowed. I changed no, the game. No I changed the rules. Zero sleep. If I could sleep in the bitch, I'd be like, yeah, I'm going to go fucking off all day, spend my 30 G's a fucking week. I wouldn't be able to do it. I can't sleep for eight hours. <laughs> Good point. I know I I can't. I haven't slept for eight hours in months. Oh, my God. I can't imagine that. Pitch black. That'd be a wild scenario. I mean, people freak out in those fucking them them tanks. Mm -hmm. What are those tanks called? Oh, the... uh, Deprivation tanks. mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I'm going to say... No. No, uh uh-uh. 120 a month isn't enough. Uh -uh. Mm Uh-uh. That's only like, is that one four? I don't know. 144. No, it's 1.44. I was going to say it's only one, like 1. 1.4 million a year. It's not enough. Mm-mm. Nope. I'd fucking want to kill myself in there. Yeah, if I had to stay awake, I wouldn't. Uh-uh. Uh, yeah. Mm-mm. I'd rather hustle. Yeah. I'd rather hustle in daylight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, how long am I doing this for? Eight hours a day. Forever? Yeah. Like that's my job? As long yep. as you want to work, yeah. Why? Oh, well, that changes Forever. As, long as long as I want to work. I'll do that for a year for fucking sure. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? If yeah, you're like, yeah. hey, this is what you got to do. Or, hey, just take this job. I'll do it for a fucking month yeah. for sure. I'll take a buck 20 in a month. But if it was like a forever job, then fuck no. But if it was like a, at my own risk and at my own leisure, mm-hmm. like per on a per month basis, yeah, per month basis, you might be able to make it. How long do you think you could make it? Like, you know, mm. like. I don't know if I could do a full 40, like full 40 hour week of that. Bro, I don't think I might. I, to be honest, I might not make it a day. Well, that's what I mean. Like, I may be able to pepper one of those days in a week. Because to make 30 Gs in a week, uh, if I made $120,000 in a month, if I made $1.44 million in a year, like, that's pretty good. If I like, if you were doing that for multiple years, you'd be like, yeah, I fucking hit the lottery. This is what I'm going to do with my money. This is what I'm going to invest. This is what I'm going to grow. This is what I'm going to do. But, like, the act of actually sitting in a pitch black fucking room for eight hours... I'm going to have way more problems than what I went in with. Yeah. Yeah. That action, I could not do it. Nope. I'd do it. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I could. There's no way. I wouldn't make it a day. I would not make it a day. Shane, I know I you, you need to be always doing something. You yeah, would who, go, you, you kidding? You would be, go crazy in there. I figure you're like the one, you're the one around here that's like the, the one that likes doing things. You're like the most task oriented uh, 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 out of everybody. Because mm-hmm. we just piled so much shit on you and see what happens. It's like I fucking have to. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't fucking do one thing, he's like, maybe I'd like to fucking sit in a room by myself for eight hours and not have you cocksuckers make we, fun of me all day so and tell me that I do a yeah, good job. We're in the room things. too. Yeah, we're, we're in there. <laughs> I'm not going. You're like, oh fuck. I'm not going there. <laughs> no, I don't think I could make it. I don't. I think that if you were like Seth, 
Uh, I'll give you a hundred million dollars to do this for one year. I I don't know if I would be able. I would have to train for it to be able to sit for a day. I'd probably rather sit in a fucking prison cell than than sit in that. I mean, being a half a gay, you'd probably like being a prison. <laughs> well, they're very they're very nice in there. They're just looking out for you. That's my man, Nasty Nate. <laughs> Like but uh, <laughs> it's a fucked up thing to say, isn't it? How people are like, oh, the gay guys probably love prison. Yeah, I love getting ass raped in the showers, of course. <laughs> you don't think I like being taken out to dinner too? <laughs> you fucking assholes. This is all I'm worth. <laughs> uh, no, I don't think I could do it, period. I would have to, like, I would have to legitimately. That's what people say about the, the, de- the deprivation tanks. They freak out. Though people freak out in them because mm. it's, it's soundless. Mm-hmm. It's all black, no sound, nothing. Mm-hmm. Wait a minute. I'm going to ask something kind of fucked up that I am not sure of. I never actually thought of this. Mm-hmm. This could be our third question. Is that what like blind people do? Are they like in pitch black? Is it like pitch black? Or they like see some stuff? Like shadows or like bright lights? Can they I don't identify know. anything? I don't know. I th- I think it's pitch black. Like Jesus I, Christ. I think there's levels to it. Like I think there's there's some that are legally blind that like just see like they can still like if you close your eyes and like you look at the sun you see like the light. That's what I mean. Yeah. I think th- some can see that much. I think others it's like pitch black. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Yep. Boy, that's fucking rough, dude. That's wow. That just really fucked with me. My palms are sweating. I feel really bad for laughing about it and fucking off. Like, that shit's nuts. Yeah, fucking right it is. God damn. Ugh. I don't know what to say right now. Mm-mm. That's nuts. I'm not going in there, Tank. I'm, I couldn't. I'm going there. Where's the blind or dickless jokes? I couldn't find any. I'm disappointed in myself. It's all right. We all have a day. You know? You just have them more often than everybody else. We're a little disappointed in you, too, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to leave now. Oh, my God. All right. Well, good stuff. That was intense. That was yeah. nuts. Good, good question, Shane. I'm glad you're doing a good job today. You look great. Thanks. Are you going to Taco Bell? I'll buy. I, I was just going to offer that. Oh, yeah. I'll buy today. I'll, yeah, I'll I got go. some change in my pocket. I'll go. <laughs> Eighty-eight cents for a fucking yep. chalupa. I got a buck. Let's go. Let's do it. Yeah. They want to see you guys eat the grilled things on camera. By the way, huh? The, what? the, the grilled cheese burritos. I'm not eating that. I'll eat one of those on camera. Okay. It's uh, good, actually. I, no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, it's not. It's not good. It tastes like shit. You're Looks right. like shit. It's not good. Mm-mm. It smells good and looks I, good. I, I, it you probably guys tastes got Taco good. Bell. You got Taco Bell here the one day. I smelled it and I was like, mm. I ate Chinese the other day. My belly was not right for three days. It was painful. I never eat Chinese. I have like an iron stomach now. It's awesome. No. Mm-hmm. I eat, we eat so clean fruits, veggies, clean meats, clean fish, fucking such like. Great stuff. I put fucking something bad in this tank. It does not go well. Mm mm. Well, I had the poops and the farts, and it was ugly. Don't you? It's I, not good for anyone. I hate having hot farts. It's horrible. Yeah, I don't like Whenever that. Whenever you have a warm fart, you're like, God, what was that? What's going on in there? That, what? I know that's going to stink. It's, good. it's scary. It is. Like, how? Why is it so hot? <laughs> Even making the decision to let that one, like, because you know it's going to be a, a hot one. Yeah. So even like the the courage to let that guy out, a lot of trust there. Sometimes, you know, over time, that's part of the thing about going from being a kid to being an adult is also being able to figure out what's a fart and what's a poop. Yeah. Sometimes as an adult, you make a bad decision. Hmm. You're like, oh, man, I thought that was just a fart and shit came out. You sharted. (laughs) Sharted. (laughs) But like there's times whenever you know you're just full of air. You're like, man, it's just a ton of air. And then they, like, whenever a hot one comes, I'm like, man, what occurred from it being just like air in there to it being like hot air? Yeah. Fucking Chinese Hunan chicken. 
Wait, because it's hot in there, is it hot? like what? What's going on? So the like, spicy, the spicy foods make hot farts. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's a better question, Shane. Yeah, I think they do. Man, I don't know. Sometimes when I eat spicy foods, it's I'm, I'm just fine. Other times, whenever you get, what do they put in that Chinese that's making that happen? Like, how's that? What's back there? I don't know. Couple. I don't know. I don't know. I don't want to know. I don't want to know either. I loved eating it on the way down, and then, like, the hot farts came, like, two hours later, and I was like, oh, boy. I felt bad because I stunk. I almost went outside <laughs> like a fucking dog. Yeah. Get outside. Get out there. You stink. Go, go sit outside for a while. <laughs> I felt like I should. I didn't want to smell myself. It was disturbing. Nor does anyone else no, want to smell you. Like, whenever I smell my own farts, I'm like, God damn, I don't want to smell that. And then, like, somebody else is like, dude, like, that's all, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> Everybody's all fucked up. The only one not is Adeline. She comes out to eat more. <laughs> Fucking kid will eat anything. Fucking Vikings. Hey, Dad, you stink. <laughs> Got any food? <laughs> that's her. <laughs> God, that's funny. Hey, I just ate fucking thousand calories at dinner. I'm going to eat this banana, and then I'm going to have my milkshake in a little bit. Okay. Or, like, she'll have, like, ice cream. She'll, I'll eat this later. And, like, later's, like, 12 minutes later. Legitimately. Yeah. You know, fucking, that kid down to, yeah. Viking scavenger. Like, that's how I'm viewing her. Like, she just, it's like, I could see her pillaging. She pillages the refrigerator and the pantry and shit. That's her. Yep. Savage. Unreal. Somehow still skinny. All right, everybody. Thank you for listening. Enjoy your day. Hope you all have a wonderful fucking day. Good weekend. Working hard. Loving life. Smacking them asses. Grabbing some titties. Maybe even just having a beer. Mm. Have a good weekend. Bye-bye.